I want to go, I want to address rather a story that hits home, but not for reasons you think. It involves Mr. Pat McAfee, my colleague at ESPN. Quite honestly, friend, I think he's a good dude. Um, you know, black white relations, you know, a lot of times people, you know, they fake the funk and all of that other stuff. And you get along with some people, you don't get along with others and all of that stuff. You're different and all of this, you know, content of character matters most. And what I like about Pat McAfee, so much noise came in his direction when he first arrived at Disney. And people were making a lot of noise about what he was worth and all of this other stuff, not seeing the big picture. And the big picture was that he had his own brand. He had his own show that he ran, that he created, that he developed. And you simply bought his product, not employed him, which a lot of businesses are doing in this day and age. That's why you see people with podcasts, why you see people trying to develop podcast networks, why you see people trying to sell it off to the highest bidder and stuff like that so they can generate money and stuff like that. Y'all don't bring up Bill Simmons. Spotify bought him for $250 million. The ringer. It was genius what Bill Simmons did. Don't hate. Emulate. So there's no shade that's being thrown on anybody. But what I wanted to get to about Pat McAfee, Pat McAfee's a real one, y'all. For better or worse, whether you like him or not, he's a real one. I love him. Because he's not about bullshit. Whatever he says to you, he'll tell you to your face. He ain't shy. He ain't scared. He stands on his, and I respect that. I really, really do. But his show got itself in a touch of controversy because Aaron Rodgers came on the show. And if y'all remember that whole controversy several years ago involving a Hollywood producing mogul, Mr. Jeffrey Epstein, who's now deceased after committing suicide in jail years ago, uh, knowing that he was going to probably spend the rest of his life in prison uh, because of sexual, sexually assaulting numerous women. Um, and Lord knows what else he's done. Well, for years, there's been reports and people have wanted people have been pursuing the courts because they want a list of people that Jeffrey Epstein may have been associated with because somehow, some way it may incriminate them in some capacity. Long story short, Aaron Rodgers goes on Pat McAfee's show weekly, by the way. And on this particular situation, in this particular situation, which was yesterday, he basically talked about how. You know, Jimmy Kimmel, the great Jimmy Kimmel, late night host Jimmy Kimmel. Was wasn't looking forward to the list. And I'm trying to look for the quote right in front of me. I had it right in front of me, so I apologize if I don't have it at this particular moment. I'm trying to find that. But essentially, Aaron Rodgers said something, to be quite honest, that he should not have said. And before I go any further into this particular topic, let me first let you all hear Pat McAfee a day later responding to the whole brouhaha Aaron Rodgers appearance on his show and his words about Jimmy Kimmel may have created. Take a listen to this. But I can see exactly why Jimmy Kimmel felt the way he felt, especially with his position. But I think Aaron was just trying to talk shit. Now, did it go too far uh, in a lot of people? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel certainly said that was the yeah. case. We and I immediately upon it happening, trying to be like, Ooh, you know, but that is Aaron and Jimmy. They've been uh, jousting a bit. I don't know, you know? <laughs> so, like, we obviously don't like the fact that we're associated with anything negative ever. We like our show to be an uplifting one, a happy one, a fun one, but it's because we talk shit and try to make light of everything. Mm -hmm. Some things, obviously, people get very pissed off about, especially when they're that serious allegations. So we apologize for being a part of it. Can't wait to hear what Aaron has to say about it. Hopefully those two will just be able to settle this. First things first. I can applaud Pat McAfee for apologizing, but let me be the first to say he didn't need to. He didn't do anything wrong. It's his show. The show is live. He didn't know what Aaron Rodgers was going to say. So let's get that out the way. Number two, um, 
it's appropriate and important that we display Jimmy Kimmel's response because he responded pretty strongly on X, formerly known as Twitter, by stating that, quote, he has never had any contact whatsoever with Epstein. Um, and he went into it further, calling Rogers and others who believe otherwise soft brain wackos and actually warned Aaron Rodgers about potential legal action. Jimmy Kimmel goes on to say, your reckless words put my family in danger. Keep it up and we will debate the facts further in court. Jimmy Kimmel is a comedian. He's a funny man. He's exceptional at what he does. I admire him. Um, I once subbed for him on his show in August of 2021, one of the proudest moments of my career. And I do feel like Pat McAfee hit the nail on the head when he said that Aaron Rodgers was just taking a dig at him. He was joking around. He wasn't necessarily serious about such a thing because obviously him and Jimmy Kimmel have had a back and forth because Kimmel has said things about Aaron Rodgers in the past purportedly. But let me say this to Aaron Rodgers. Jeffrey Epstein ain't, there's nothing to joke about. I love Aaron Rodgers. Everybody knows that he's a bad man. You know me. But Aaron Rodgers should apologize. Plain and simple. Just uncomplicate the situation by saying, even if you don't like Jimmy Kimmel, say that too. Look, I don't like him. Okay? And I was taking the dig at him, but clearly that went too far. I crossed the line. And that is not something I should be saying about any human being. Uh, who's not guilty of such a thing period that's it see in this world we got people that's scared to apologize if you're wrong because it incriminates you somehow some way to be exposing yourself for being wrong damn all that we're human beings first if i said something egregiously wrong about somebody and they point out factually that i'm wrong I'd apologize in this particular situation. I don't have to, I don't have to know the facts. The fact that I don't know the facts period would have been enough for me not to even utter such a thing. And that's certainly not something to joke about considering the litany of, of, of bodies, both physically, emotionally, psychologically that Jeffrey Epstein did damage to. I'm one of those people that wish he was still alive. Listen, let me tell you something. Death is too good for you. When you've inflicted suffering upon other human beings, innocent human beings, I think death is the easy way out. That's just my personal opinion. I think you should be alive and kept to suffer the consequences of your actions. When you intentionally did harm to other human beings. Especially like Jeffrey Epstein did. But in the end, Yaron Rogers. You don't joke about something like that. You certainly don't utter it out of your mouth to incriminate somebody else devoid of any facts whatsoever to support such a thing. And Jimmy Kimmel was right to react the way that he did. But this is not on Pat McAfee. Yes, Aaron Rodgers is a weekly guest, but he's a guest on his show. When a guest comes on your show and it's live, not taped, and you don't know what the hell they're going to say. What the hell are you supposed to do once they say it? All you can do is move on. And you can choose to address the subject by distancing yourself from it. Move forward. That's it. This is about Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Kimmel. This ain't about Pat McAfee. That's my real point in saying all of this other than Aaron Rodgers, who I love and I think is a good dude. Just apologize, bro. That's not something you should have done. Plain and simple.